The Lockheed Model 10 Electra is an American twin-engined, all-metal monoplane airliner developed by the Lockheed Aircraft Corporation in the 1930s to compete with the Boeing 247 and Douglas DC-2. The type gained considerable fame as one was flown by Amelia Earhart on her ill-fated Around the World expedition in 1937. Topic: <laughs> Design and Development. Some of Lockheed's wooden designs, such as the Orion, had been built by Detroit Aircraft Corporation with metal fuselages. However, the Electra was Lockheed's first all-metal and twin-engine design by Lloyd Stearman and Hall Hibbard. The name Electra came from a star in the Pleiades. The prototype made its first flight on February 23, 1934, with Marshall Heddle at the controls. Wind tunnel work on the Electra was undertaken at the University of Michigan. Much of the work was performed by a student assistant, Clarence Johnson. He suggested two changes be made to the design, changing the single tail to double tails later a Lockheed trademark, and deleting oversized wing fillets. Both of these suggestions were incorporated into production aircraft. Upon receiving his master's degree, Johnson joined Lockheed as a regular employee, ultimately leading the Skunk Works in developing advanced aircraft such as the Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird. The Lockheed Electra was one of the first commercial passenger aircraft with retractable landing gear to come equipped with mudguards as standard equipment, although aircraft with fixed landing gear commonly had mudguards much earlier than this. <laughs> Operational history After October 1934 when the U.S. government banned single-engined aircraft for use in carrying passengers or in night flying, Lockheed was perfectly placed in the market with its new Model 10 Electra. In addition to deliveries to U.S.-based airlines, several European operators added Electras to their pre-war fleets. In Latin America, the first airline to use Electras was Cubana de Aviation, starting in 1935, for its domestic routes. Besides airline orders, a number of non-commercial civil operators also purchased the new Model 10. In May 1937, H. T. Dick, Merrill and J. S. Lambie accomplished a round-trip crossing of the Atlantic Ocean. The feat was declared the first round-trip commercial crossing of that ocean by any aircraft. It won them the Harmon Trophy. On the eastbound trip, they carried newsreels of the crash of the Hindenburg, and on the return trip from the United Kingdom, they brought photographs of the coronation of King George VI. Bada Shoes operated the Model 10 to ferry its executives between their European factories. Probably the most famous use of the Electra was the highly modified Model 10E flown by aviatrix Amelia Earhart. In July 1937, she disappeared in her Electra during an attempted round-the-world flight. Many Electras and their design descendants, the Model 12 Electra Junior and Model 14 Super Electra, were pressed into military service during World War II. For instance, the USAAF's C-36. By the end of the war, the Electra design was obsolete, although many smaller airlines and charter services continued to operate Electras into the 1970s. Electras were popular as private planes for royalty in Asia and Europe. In India, the Maharaja of Jammu and Kashmir and the Maharaja of Jodhpur both purchased them for their personal use in 1937. Topic variants The Electra was produced in several variants, for both civilian and military customers. Lockheed built a total of 149 Electras. Electra 10A powered by two Pratt & Whitney R985 Wasp Jr. SB, 450 horsepower 336 kilowatts each, 101 produced. Three built for the U.S. Army Air Corps as Y1C36, redesignated as C-36 in 1938 and as UC-36 in 1943. Fifteen impressed by the U.S. Army Air Forces as C-36A, redesignated as UC-36A in 1943. One built as XR-201 for the U.S. Secretary of the Navy. 
One built as Y1C37 for the Chief of the National Guard Bureau, redesignated as C37 in 1938 and as UC37 in 1943, Electra 10B powered by Wright R975E3 Whirlwind, 440 horsepower, 340 kilowatts each, 18 produced 7 impressed by the U.S. Army Air Forces as C36C, redesignated as UC36C in 1943. One built as XR301 for the U.S. Coast Guard for use by the Secretary of the Treasury, Electra 10C powered by Pratt & Whitney R1340 WASP SC1, 450 horsepower 336 kilowatts each, 8 produced for Pan American Airways. Electra 10D proposed military transport version, none built. Electra 10E powered by Pratt & Whitney R1340 WASP S3H1, 600 hp 450 kW each, 15 produced. The version used by Amelia Earhart. Five impressed by the U.S. Army Air Forces as C-36B, redesignated as UC-36B in 1943, XC-35 experimental pressurized research model powered by turbocharged Pratt & Whitney XR-134043, 550 hp 410 kW each. The one production model was tested for the War Department by Lt. Benjamin S. Kelsey. For this work, the Army Air Corps was awarded the 1937 Collier Trophy. Lockheed KXL-1A single Lockheed Model 10 Electra supplied to the Imperial Japanese Navy Air Service for evaluation. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Operators. Topic: <laughs> Civil operators Topic Military operators Argentine Argentine Air Force Brazil Brazilian Air Force Canada Royal Canadian Air Force Honduras Honduran Air Force Spain Spanish Republican Air Force Japan Imperial Japanese Navy Air Service United Kingdom Royal Air Force United States United States Army Air Corps Army Air Forces United States Navy United States Coast Guard Venezuela Venezuelan Air Force Topic: Surviving aircraft. 1011 Electra 10A on static display at the Pima Air and Space Museum in Tucson, Arizona. 1015 Electra 10E on static display at the Museum of Flight in Seattle, Washington. 1026 Electra 10A on display at the Oakland Aviation Museum in Oakland, California. 1037 Electra 10A on static display at the Science Museum in London 1042 Muriel, Electra 10E on static display with the Amelia Earhart Foundation in Atchison, Kansas. Delivered to Atchison in August 2016, it was previously owned by Grace McGuire who had planned on using it to recreate Amelia Earhart's around-the-world flight. 1052 Electra 10A on static display at the New England Air Museum in Windsor Locks, Connecticut. Originally an XR201 used for transporting high-ranking staff by the U.S. Navy, it is now painted in Northwest Airlines colors. At one point it was intended to use this machine for a recreation of the Earhart flight but it was not carried out. 1091 Electra 10A Airworthy with Evo Lukakovic at Tacna Airport in Tacna, Prague. Registered as OKCTB, OK it was one of two owned by Bata Shu Co. in Prague, Czechoslovakia before World War II. At the outbreak of World War II it was evacuated to England, and onward to Canada where it served with the RCAF. After a succession of U.S. owners, it was eventually reacquired by Bata Shu, and fully restored by Wichita Air Services in Newton, Kansas. Wearing its original colors and registration marks, it was ferried back to Prague in May 2015. 1112 Electra 10A on static display at the Canada Aviation and Space Museum in Ottawa, Ontario. 
Originally purchased by Trans Canada Airlines as their first new aircraft, it was transferred to the RCAF in 1939, with whom it served for most of World War II. After the war it was operated by a number of private owners. It survived into the 1960s when Anne Pellegrino between June 7 and July 10, 1967 flew the aircraft on a round-the-world flight to commemorate Amelia Earhart's last flight in 1937. After being acquired by Air Canada, it was restored in 1968 and donated to the museum. 1116 Electra 10A Airworthy at the Royal Aviation Museum of Western Canada in Winnipeg, Manitoba. It was one of a second batch of three Electras delivered to Trans-Canada Airlines. Found in Florida in the early 1980s by a vacationing Air Canada employee, it was returned to Winnipeg for restoration. In 1987 it flew across Canada in honour of the 50th anniversary of Air Canada, who owns and operates the aircraft. 1130 Electra 10A on static display at the National Naval Aviation Museum in Pensacola, Florida. 1138 Electra 10A on static display at the Museum of Transport and Technology in Auckland. 3105 XC35 in storage at the Paul E. Garber Preservation, Restoration, and Storage Facility of the National Air and Space Museum in Suitland, Maryland. It was used for testing pressurization. Topic specifications Electra 10A General Characteristics Crew, 2 capacity, 10 passengers length, 38 feet 7 in 11.8 meters wingspan, 55 feet 0 in 16.8 meters height, 10 feet 1 in 3.1 meters wing area, 458 feet squared 42.6 square meters empty weight, 6,454 pounds 2,930 kilograms loaded weight, 10 1500 pounds 4760 kilograms powerplant 2 times Pratt and Whitney R985 Wasp Junior SB 450 horsepower 340 kilowatts each performance maximum speed 202 miles per hour 325 kilometers per hour 175 knots cruise speed 190 miles per hour 306 kilometers per hour 165 knots range 7 713 miles 1150 kilometers 620 nanometers service ceiling 19400 feet 5910 meters rate of climb 1000 feet per minute 300 meters per minute wing loading 22.9 pounds per foot squared 111.7 kilograms per square meter power mass 11 7 pounds per horsepower 142 with kilogram Topic. See also Related development Lockheed Model 12 Electra Jr. Lockheed Model 14 Super Electra Aircraft of comparable role, configuration and era Avro Anson Airspeed Oxford Barclay Gro T8 P1 Beechcraft Model 18 Boeing 247 Douglas DC-2 Cadron C. 440 Goaland Psi KZIV Related lists List of aircraft of World War II List of aircraft of the Spanish Republican Air Force List of military aircraft of the United States List of military aircraft of the United States Naval List of Lockheed aircraft